I am as old as the earth. My essence has existed since the beginning of time. Born in darkness. Forged by scorching hot flames. I am steel. I am cold. Merciless. Unforgiving. I have no heart. I have no soul. And you mortals cannot conquer me. Here I stand, making brave men quiver and fall at my feet. I will rip your skin, tear your flesh, spill your blood, scar your very souls. Be afraid, be very afraid. May God have mercy on their souls. And now, Metal Wrestling presents Revival. Welcome to the rebirth of Metal Wrestling. Tonight, we will see Lethal Lockdown and an exploding barbed wire deathmatch. Tonight could very well spell the end for several careers here on Metal Wrestling. And folks, I'm telling you now, I'm here and we got something going on in the back. And there you see, they're at the subway station and there it is, Darby Allen and Sammy Callahan on the buy-in for Revival. They have already started their hardcore title match and now, wait a minute. I think Sammy Callahan is driving away in that ambulance. And now Darby following him on the skateboard. Shocking developments, they're on their way to the arena. And folks, we're kicking off tonight with the Metalweight Championship. The opening contest at Revival, scheduled for one fall, is for the Metalweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of Air Scotland, Weighing in at 255 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And this matchup was originally scheduled for NLW 100 until Triple H cancelled Metal and cancelled the matchup. Tonight, though, it finally happens over one year in the making for McIntyre's shot. And oh, wait a minute! What the hell is that son of a bitch doing here? Oh, look at. It's the EVP of NLW, Triple H, and now Kevin Owens! Oh my god! A pop-up powerbomb on the apron to McIntyre. Well, Triple H has not forgotten what McIntyre did to him on NLW 100, kicking his head off, and... And now Triple H and Kevin Owens have invaded Revival. But, oh, here comes the Metalweight Champion, Samoa Joe to stop them from any more interference and Triple H said he was going to show up and ruin Revival and he's already done it I and mean, it looks like this matchup may not even happen now well, Triple H and his security guard Kevin Owens coming in to ruin this metalweight title match and, and they may have succeeded and Drew McIntyre he's waited a whole year for this shot and now another cruel twist of fate that could be taken away from him. The referee's saying it might be over. Joe understands, but... Hold on. Hold on. I've waited long enough for this shot, and I'm not quitting. Oh, McIntyre, he still wants it, but... Rest up. You can do this later, man. I think the referee's saying, like, you can... Re oh, my God! We're going to do this whether you like it or not. Ring that bell. But McIntyre wants it, and he's not going to let anything stand in his way. This matchup is on the way. The Metalweight title on the line. The champion, Samoa Joe, the challenger, Drew McIntyre. It was one year ago, inside the Elimination Chamber, where it came down to these two men. And McIntyre almost 
won the title that night and he almost won the title right there. Went for the Claymore but got clotheslined and now a back elbow but blocks the Insiguri. Now McIntyre with a Tiger suplex but Joe right back up in the face of McIntyre. And Joe telling Drew to bring it on. Oh, what a shot. And another one to Drew. But a big chop to the chest of Joe and Joe wants more. And another big chop on both men now in front of me here at our announce table. And we saw the the tension that had been brewing for months at this point. It finally exploded on metal last week. There's a big boot from Joe. It exploded when these two men brawled into the backstage area. And now tonight, all that pent-up aggression, all the words, it ends tonight. One man will be leaving as Matt Wade champion is Samoa Joe! Diving with a tope suicida. And the referees as stunned as anyone. Flying over the barrier. And now Samoa Joe, the champion, for now at least, celebrating amongst the fans. Well, look at that. A picture-perfect elbow to the face of Drew McIntyre. Now picks him up and slams him down with a power bomb. Referee makes the count, but a transition into the Boston Crab. And working over that back that was targeted by Kevin Owens earlier in that vicious assault and now the STF. And I'm being told that Triple H and Kevin Owens have been escorted out of the building. Of course, later tonight we've got that big lethal lockdown match between the Undisputed Era, Triple H's team and, of course, Stone Cold's team of metal wrestling. But right now we kick things off with the richest prize in the business. That's right, I said it. And McIntyre chopping the hell out of Samoa Joe. Oh, what a headbutt. Jesus Christ, right on the noggin. Oh, look at that. Drawing blood and the skulls literally cracking together from the force of that headbutt. Look at the Claymore, but misses. And now Drew caught up in the top rope. Samoa Joe holding on to the legs now. And Joe Arbor, oh, McIntyre wills himself up for the German suplex. And you know what, both men at the moment losing a lot of blood. Drew McIntyre going for the future shot DDT. But Joe from behind, a German suplex, landing him right on his shoulder. McIntyre, he's in a lot of pain. That power bomb, he can shrug it off all he wants, but oh, he shrugged off that. Oh, wait a minute! He went for the chop, but this time Joe had it scouted. Joe with the coquina clutch, the same move that he used to choke out Drew the first time in the chamber, and well, now Samoa Joe thrown to the outside, but Drew McIntyre with the tope con hello. 260 pounds flying at you. And Samoa Joe was not prepared. McIntyre on fire here tonight. A much greater intensity than what we saw in the Elimination Chamber where he was so, so close to winning the metalweight title. Samoa Joe now a sitting duck for Drew, but once the top rope, and a head and arm suplex off the top rope. And folks, those six-sided rings, they're a lot harder to fall on than your traditional four sides. And now, reminiscent of the Elimination Chamber. Oh, wait a minute though. Reverses the pin by Joe. Joe right back into the clutch. And look at this, trying to rip that head off of his shoulders. Oh, but Drew McIntyre with a foot on the rope and he is not letting go of the hold. 
Oh, he's back up. Muscle Buster coming. Madru versus it's the future shock. Madru kicks out. And Drew McIntyre knows it may be one shot away. Just one more boot to win the championship. He's been craving for over a year and he misses. Misses the Claymore. And now the cookie in the clutch. Locked in. But a jawbreaker. And there it is. Claymore. Oh, no. Two and seven eights. And Joe gets a shoulder up. This crowd is on fire. McIntyre. One last shot. We'll do it. No, oh, Muscle Buster. Catching the boot and now the Kokita clutch. And McIntyre, he's, he's fading. He's fading in the centre. And he taps out. For Samoa Joe. Enjoy and still the champion, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe offers the hand of respect to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre, my God, that is a star maker performance if I've ever seen one. But Samoa Joe, he didn't want the match to happen now. He was more than willing to wait, but Drew McIntyre could not wait. And on several occasions, he almost won this matchup, including here, the Claymore. However, one Claymore caught into the Muscle Buster and then finally this Kokida clutch and Drew McIntyre this time, he does tap out. But what a performance. My hat goes off to McIntyre as Samoa Joe retains the championship. Oh, look out for... It's Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns who speared Samoa Joe this past week. He wants a piece of Joe right now. The Usos attacking Joe and the Roman Reigns spearing the champion for a second time. The bloodline has arrived at Revival and Roman Reigns picks up that championship and perhaps signifies that that is why he is here on Metal Wrestling. We've wondered for weeks what his intentions were, and now it looks like the Bloodline wants all of the gold. Hangman Adam Page, welcome to Revival, but I've got to ask, why are you here tonight? You're not scheduled to wrestle. Well, I, uh, I was supposed to face Brian Danielson last week, and, you know, that got cancelled. Excuse me. I I'm probably not supposed to tell you this, but, uh, after the Undisputed Era attacked him, Stone Cold wanted me to be here as a, a backup, you know, just in case something were to happen to someone on his team. Well, why do you think he picked you as someone he would like to have on his team then? Well, uh, you know, you'd have to ask him, honestly. I don't know if I'm the right choice, man. I mean, I showed up a bit worse for, or you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. No, you're not. You are not the right choice. Tell me this, Paige. Did the Undisputed Era really attack Danielson, huh? And how did the Undisputed Era get in? Better yet, how did Triple H and Kevin Owens get in tonight? I mean, I think you're the mole he's been talking about. You can't stand to look at yourself in the mirror these days, so you're taking an easy paycheck. I think you're full of shit, Hangman. You always were, and so is Roman Reigns. And if I find him, you know what? Maybe you should shut the hell up, huh? Cody, you want to be the big hero for the people out there, yeah? The middle fans, huh? Find Roman right now and kick his ass. You know what, I am the hero that these people need. And I'm telling you now, I'm doing it for them, not for you, because I'm not taking advice from a drunk. Sober up, Hangman. You could be Austin's last hope if things go south tonight. I mean, Hangman, it's obvious he's got his issues going on at the moment. We've seen that, and... Oh, wait, whoa, look who's back. Sammy Callahan has arrived. And so is Darby Allen. And 
once again, the feed cuts out. Well, this hardcore championship match is ongoing. It's been going since the buy-in when they're in the subway cart and then driving the ambulance to the arena. And you just have to wonder where they're going to turn up next, really. And what? Oh, my, oh my God, look at... Look up at, in the rafters. Sammy Callahan pushed over the edge. What? Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, my God. Darby, oh, my God! And we got a champ. How do I, how do I explain this? Look at the height that Darby fell to take out Sammy Callahan, at least 40 feet from the balcony. Well, if anyone deserves to be hardcore champion after that, it's Darby Allen. Absolutely insane sees Darby Allen, the new hardcore champion. I know we haven't exactly seen eye to eye in the past couple of years, but we go back a long, long time. And you know, no matter what happens in each of our careers, I will always love and respect you. Mox, please don't go into this match tonight. All right, I'm not speaking as Seth Rollins. I'm not speaking as the Messiah or the Intercontinental Champion. I'm just I'm speaking as your friend. Please don't do this. I don't want to see anyone get killed in that ring tonight. Think about your career. Think about your family. Seth. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to be the one getting blown to smithereens. Well, even Seth Rollins, as evil as he's been, he is concerned. And that just goes to show you the danger that we're talking about here. It's an exploding barbed wire deathmatch. Moxley and Edge settle the score, and it's live. Do not miss it.